This is Aurelius Light, and welcome to my channel. This video is about sacred geometry and its deep connections with music and math. If you resonate with the music and the teaching on this channel, please consider subscribing, sharing, and commenting below, as this will help the channel grow and share the transmission during this transformation of consciousness. At the end of this video, you will receive a transmission, the dance of spirit from my last album, A Mystic's Winter, and the dodecahedron, and the stellated dodecahedron. Math and music are the most common universal languages. Sacred geometry actually means the sacred geometry of the earth. There is an invisible blueprint from higher spiritual worlds that exists beyond everything in the physical world. This creates the world we live in, in the container of creation. If we look closely at our 3D reality, we will see sacred geometry in all things. Symbols like numbers, language, and sounds are ways that activate recognition and remembrance in our eternal soul blueprint. Sacred symbols are so unique in that they contain the energetic frequency of numbers, language, and sound, which together forms codes. The elements combined are interwoven in one symbol. Just consider how powerful that is. As we awaken more and more and start to become who we really are by connecting to our higher soul selves, we must remember the key to all information is in its frequency. Music and sacred geometry are always intertwined because sound actually creates patterns and matter. And once understood, matter is actually a representation of the sound. Sacred geometry involves sacred universal patterns used in the design of everything in our reality. Most often it's seen in architecture and art. The basic belief is that geometry and mathematical ratios, harmonics and proportions are also found in light, cosmology, and has its root in sound. The ancient cultures were all very much aware of these geometrical signatures and the numerical patterns and frequencies. At the very earliest appearance of human civilization, we observe the presence and importance of sacred geometry. It is clearly evident that geometry and sound was comprehended and utilized by the ancient master builders, who laboring at the dawn of civilization some four and one half millennia ago, bestowed upon the world such masterworks as the megalithic structures of ancient Egypt, the pyramids, the temples, Peru, Sumeria, and even Europe. That geometry continues to be employed throughout the centuries, even up to the present day crop circles around the world. From these earliest times until now, to be the simplest perfected structures in nature, sacred geometrical patterns are everywhere. One of my favorite is the dodecahedron. The dodecahedron is the fifth platonic solid, which has 12 pentagonal sides, also known as the fifth element. Plato remarks the gods use it to arrange the constellation on the whole heaven. Aristotle added the fifth element, the ether, and postulated that the heavens were made of this element. And modern science has claimed that the dodecahedron is the shape of the universe. Ether is represented by the mysterious and ineffable dodecahedron. Why is the dodecahedron fascinating to me and work with music and sound? Well, because a dodecahedron's key functions are ascension, expression, divine creation of life, in the highest form of consciousness. Sound is geometry, and geometry is sound. And as spiritual beings walking around in human form composed of a lot of water, what we think and what we speak and the vibrations that we surround ourselves with is truly important to how we create on this earth plane. 
Our bodies are composed of water, so much water, and water has memory, just like crystals. It can help us to raise our frequency and to connect with higher dimensions and, most importantly, our higher self. It is a very important tool for meditation. The dodecahedron symbolizes everything unknown and mysterious, which is why it is used to help us get in tune with our higher knowledge and new and unexplored perspectives. Because the shape and the structure of the dodecahedron has a very high frequency, it not only helps raise our own frequency, but the frequency and the environment that surrounds us. The dodecahedron opens us to the potency of all the elements that reality is made of, helping us raise not only our own frequency to meet and merge with it, which in turn assists us in connecting to our higher soul self, the part of us that resides in the spirit realm. Because of this ability to connect with our higher selves, Jesus called it the Father, Hindu it's the Atman, and it goes on and on. There are always names for this higher perspective, the God force within us. This powerful force helps us to detach from the ego, the lower ego, and dive into truthful, universal wisdom. When we connect to our divine life force, higher knowledge unfolds and expansion occurs. And this makes this shape a perfect one to use for an ascension and meditation. In this video, you will see both the stellated dodecahedron and the dodecahedron. The stellated dodecahedron is a 12-point star that activates our strands of dormant DNA to receive more light, and over time, more light will integrate. Ascension is a process and a journey that can take lifetimes. We actually can change our DNA in this form when we become self-realized. The stellated dodeca is the consciousness of a self-realized being, and that is why it is referred to by some as the Christ consciousness grid. Christ or any other master of this level exhibits the self-aware consciousness, an exceptionally high level of personal refinement that is practical and attainable for humans who sincerely discipline themselves to attain it. We must clearly see ourselves and our level of responsibility, integrity, and impeccability in order to evolve. All of these elements are what strengthen our dodecahedron, and in turn, into the stellated dodecahedron and able to stand on its own and retain its shape. This is why the dodecahedron was not named the Christ Consciousness Grid. This is why it's the stellated dodecahedron. The open-heartedness of the dodecahedron requires the internal support of the trinity of personal commitments, impeccability, self-responsibility, and integrity. And in order to transcend into the stellated dodecahedron, Christ. The stellated dodecahedron is about adding conscious awareness, impeccability, self-responsibility, and integrity to open the heart to create Christ conscious realization. Without commitment to the higher quality standing above, unity becomes transitory experience that is dependent upon a leader or a guru or something outside of you, instead of it being a natural flow, the God force flowing through us, an unfolding process from the individual level. We all have frequently observed open-hearted people who have the best intentions, falling prey to the agendas of other people who have lost their way. The Stellated Dodecahedron, which you will also see with my music at the end, is the consciousness of a self-realized being and that this is why it is referred to the Christ consciousness group. It is so much more than chasing bliss and this is what is truly expressed in Christ's teaching. He did not want anyone to follow him. 
He wanted us to become as he became, a self-aware, enlightened being. The Christ Consciousness Grid exists as a reminder of our true nature, our true divine spiritual nature, and encourages us to attain it while still in an incarnated human form. To use the next part of this video as a meditation, take a deep breath in and let go of all negative and lower consciousness thoughts and fears and constrictions and restrictions and limitations. Let go of the old paradigm of living and watch the beautiful sacred geometrical pattern of the dodecahedron and the stellated dodecahedron intertwine as you listen to the music that is in resonance of the dodecahedron. Deep breathe and allow everything to go into source. Thank you. 